All right, everybody. How are you? Awesome Soul here, and today I have, as always, interesting news. This time we have some tweets that you might have missed. Possibly. Kinda. Sorta. Anyways. Uh, but before I go into that, first things first, I just want to get this out of the way. Um, a few of you have been wanting the ugly bug up on the robot factory. And unfortunately, I've actually done some testing, and I have realized that um, I can't exactly, unless you guys want to buy it for galaxy cash, but that would get very expensive. Uh, the reason being is I have carbon thrusters on the back, but a few updates ago, hitboxes were changed when Unity 5 was added to the game. So hitboxes are a lot more compact, and they actually function, like, exactly the way they are. So it basically uses the actual model's hitbox, not a separate hitbox. So if I were to remove the carbon thrusters, then I would not be able to place them back on, because I was going to replace the carbon thrusters with regular thrusters so you guys wouldn't have to buy it with galaxy cash, but unfortunately, I cannot do that. So, sorry for those of you who wanted that bot, but hopefully I will be making a new rail sometime soon, probably for phase two, whenever that comes around. Maybe it's like a plasma rail hybrid. I have a few ideas for sort of long range bots, but we'll see. You'll get something cool. I promise you that. Anyways, sorry about that uh, intro. Um, but the big meat of this episode, I guess, is these two tweets. So, ooh, speaking of meat, I need some meat back. <laughs> All right. Um, so yeah, the first tweet up on screen. Right now, bam. We have Mark saying, Overclock 15. Yes, no more Overclock 13 as the max. It would appear that the new maximum is Overclock 15. Now, the whole Overclock system was done in preparation for the uh, SCUs, the supercomputer modules. Some of you may have seen them. They're basically like the little humanoid robot things. There was some fan, um, yeah, I guess fan art done of them and some official art as well. Not, not a terrible score there. And basically how that was working was they were going to each have their own skills. So three skills. I think it was three skills, something like that. And... The 13, basically the, uh, the 13 levels would play in so you would get one point to spend on these abilities every level. But now that SCUs are no longer a thing, I guess adding a little bit more levels wouldn't hurt. I'm not entirely sure why though, but I will go ahead and hop into an the next match and uh, continue the little talk there, because there is another tweet that I also want to cover. All right, so, last little thing that I do want to talk about on the topic of Overclock 15 is how it's going to work exactly. So, is it going to be the exact same levels as Overclock 13 parts? So say, like, this plasma at overclock 13, is that going to be the same level as overclock 15? But they're just stretching it out a little longer? Because, I mean, it's not super difficult to get to overclock 13 by the end of most matches. And from what I understand, they wanted it to be kind of difficult to get to overclock 13. Although, I'm not sure if that's still their, uh, motto, or whatever you want to call it. Um... That was a great shot. I hit my leg. Anyways. Um... Oh, damn. That is not good. My legs are just getting shot out from under me. Please don't. Please- why? Why would you block a path? Oh, my god. <laughs> okay. 
Let's see if I can't get healed back and uh, hop back into the action. My team desperately needs me. So yeah, hopefully it is more along the lines of just extending it and not buffing weapons even further because I I don't really want a uh, two levels of strength increase. I just want it to cut sort of uh, last longer, be harder to get to max power, I guess you could say. Anyways, after that little ramble, let's uh, move on to another ramble. We have another tweet, this time by Rick, and he is talking about social features. Hmm. Well, looks like I ended the game, but hopefully I can make this chat fairly quick. So, social features. Something that long-time followers of the news will be well aware is something that is coming in Phase 3. So Phase 3, there is going to be a rather large focus on more social aspects. But he specifically says in this tweet, Platoons are going to be improved. Now, what could this mean? I got no clue. Uh, no, um, I can speculate all I want, but uh, unfortunately, we'll just have to wait and see. What I'm hoping for is... Whew, I guess an increase to platoons. Basically, like the amount of people you can bring in. So maybe... Four people? For non-premium members and like... Six people for premium members, something like that, or, or, why not just have a full team platoon, and then the game would automatically match you against another full team platoon, or it would match you up against two teams all in their own platoon, because basically, Teamwork is very powerful in any game, especially Robocraft. Because most players are running around like headless chickens. There isn't the greatest level of communication in this game. But then again, I guess you can kind of say that about any game that doesn't have voice chat. Uh, there is curse voice, but I mean... Does anybody even use that anymore? I used that for like two days maybe and then kind of never got into that but then again i use teamspeak mostly so i kind of hopped back on to teamspeak with the usual crowd so i don't know if you guys are still using uh, curse voice let me know it'd be kind of interesting to know so feedback from you guys what do you want to see out of this new overclock 15 type thing and what would you like to see out of the improved platoons? What do you want added to them? Or do you want a specific platoon-only mode for, like, full platoons, like 10 versus 10? Or something like that. You get the idea. Anyways, guys. It's very late, so I was extra rambly this time. With that, I will end it here. I've been the Awesome Soul. I thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Take care.